Yeah, she must be AFK. I don't know. Time mods, of course, make it pretty difficult, but yeah. No, it's not a free... Okay, she, she actually, she's back. Okay. Funny thing is, I think you have to move within one minute or you lose the game. Let's go here. Let's go here. Um, knight c3 is a move. I think queen c2 is also pretty decent because black can't play knight 6 and you take the knight on e4. There is a prize pool. Yeah, first prize is, uh, is, um, $750. It's $500 or $750. Let, let me see. Okay, takes is a weird move. I think I take with a knight here. Because this knight's a little bit airy on e4. It's kind of misplaced very slightly. Okay, let's go work D1. Okay, so I think it's 750 first prize, not not 500. Sorry. I feel like there should be tactics here. Wait a second. I mean, am I missing something? I don't understand. Don't I just go here? So I can take and then take. I mean, I guess there's knight f6. Me, I maybe knight f5 was better actually. Yeah, I actually allowed this, which was kind of stupid. I'm going to go here. I don't know if this is right, but I'm trying to get tricky with, like, queen a4. I also have bishop f3 at some moment as well. I think I should have gone... I should have gone knight f5 here. Pro well, I guess there was rook c8. Again, this is 3-1. I, I, I need to remember this is 3-1 and not 3-0. Oh. It's important. Okay, let's go here. Hit the pawn. It's queen c7, I have knight b5. This is why I put the knight on a3 as opposed to d2. It's because of the specific jump with the fork. If I get bishop b5, then there's a lot of pressure as well. So I think I'm doing pretty well. Okay, thank you, Melody. Hey, for the, uh, for the prime. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. There's a fly in my room for the two months. Thank you so much. Now, I died bishop d3 here. Wait a second. Let's think. I can also go for the tickle with knight d4, but I think bishop d3 must be right. Hmm. It's very strange. I can also go king f1, maybe. Even bishop f3 looks reasonable, but you know, bishop d3 looks... Hmm, this is strange. Let's just go knight d4, maybe hit the queen. Not in love with my position, I'm not gonna lie, but I think I think I'm fine here. Okay, now I don't go knight b5, not bishop a6. I think I'm gonna go queen a3 to hit the pawn and line up the double again. Point being after e5, I go knight b5, queen c2, just bishop d3. I also have rook c1 now because my queen holds the square, importantly. So there are a lot of tricks here. Uh, I might go bishop a6. I wanted to go bishop a6 originally. But then there's knight c5 forking the queen and the bishop. So that's why I did it in this order. Okay, but now I have b4 first of all. I also have rook c1. Um, do I want to go rook c1 first or do I want to go b4? I think, I think I'll go rook c1 first. Why not? Okay, now a5. Actually, I should not have allowed. That was stupid. Let's go here. She does have no time, however. Um, let's just go here, maybe. So I have knight c6 also. Wait, what? Oh, I might have blundered here. What? Wait, knight c6, rook c6, rook c6, knight c3, queen b2. Knight d1, queen e5. Knight d2, queen e2. Queen b5 takes. Oh, but knight six is also just rook d1. What am I even doing? I'm doing. Let's just move. I gotta move quicker. Let's go here. I 
I need to move quicker. I'm, I'm moving a little bit too slowly here at the start. Okay, let's just go H3. No, no I'm good. I'm, whoa, what's... Don't tell me the site's crashing. Okay, let's just go back. Okay, now I have B4 maybe. Let's drop back. Wait, that's, uh, Knight F5, GF5, or, or I play Rook C8, Rook D8, hmm. I'm just gonna keep it slow. Oh, now, now, now she blunders. Okay, now I just take and she missed the check. And I fossilized the queen here, and now we just win the game. Okay, we got a win in, in round one. Start off with a good win. Uh, round two coming up shortly. Let's keep watching some other games. Let's watch Azri Chess. Plus zero, yeah, 2480, so I don't gain any points there. Should be winning for white here. Uh, yeah, white's up too many pawns here. Just takes and rook e4. Yeah, black resigns. Okay, so so Chakra wins his first game. Let's see what else do we have. Drop zone versus K9 win. Um, queen c8, I get. Ooh. Bishop e4? Rook g6? Yeah, and black, black holds. Very dangerous game here, but black's going to get the win. Yeah, king g2. You maybe just go check. And king h3, you you can even check check maybe. Yeah, there's got yeah, this is good. Queen a5, queen c queen a5. Okay, black wins on time. Okay, with this game, big owl versus Dayak Bogdan. Um whoa, rook d3. Check check. There was rook f2, which was mate, but this should be winning. Yeah. King f4, king runs in, just king e4. Yeah, this is winning. Thank you to the cat spas for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You are genius. No, I'm 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 not. But anyway, um, the king is cut off by so many files that this just wins. It's yeah. King b2, and yeah, it's just it's just winning because of how cut off the king is. <laughs> Rookie six. <laughs> nice trick at the end there by Big Al. That's a funny trick. Rookie six. Um, let's see who else is still playing. Okay, Shugarov is still playing. He sh should be winning here with the two pawns. Bishop e6. King g1. This should be winning for black based on the pawn placement. Maybe you go around. Yeah, you can just go around here. But even this also wins with h3. h3 is shoe. So, yeah. Anyway. How come no dual camp setup? I'll tell you why. Um, the first reason is because I'm obviously not going to show my show the inside of my house. I'm streaming from my house. The second reason is that even if I put it on the angle facing outside, there is some chance that based off of the angle, people could see outside and they could maybe figure out where I live. Um, and obviously, I don't. I don't really want to get. I I don't want to get SWAT or anything like that. So that's the reason. Yeah, it's not about stalking. It's like I mean, I, I I'm just I'm not in the mood to have some get you know to get swatted that's why that's that's the main reason i'm not gonna show the inside of my house and if i show the other angle there is some chance that people could kind of figure out where i'm at okay round two coming up here we go okay d4 um let's play g6 maybe bishop g7 why no more TSM facility? Well, someone someone tested positive for COVID and they've been in a bubble for the last month or so now. That's why. So I think, I mean, I'm just saying, I think swatting is a problem, yeah. It's going to 87, E5 maybe. I have his address. Should anyone want it? I accept PayPal. <laughs> oh, wait, why did I do this? Okay, he misplays the order. He could have gone knight c3, b5, I think. But anyway, 
Keep going. Okay, let's just castle. Okay, go C4. Now I can obviously trade here. I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna play standard knight f8. Standard king's Indian attack setup. Let's just go for it. Maybe h5, knight h7, knight h5, bishop f5. Maybe c6, depending. Um, I think actually is c6 worth it? It might be, but I'm just gonna play h5 for now. And if c5, I think I go bishop e6. If d5, there's knight e5, but there is knight e6 also. Hmm. I think I'm going to play this. I don't know if this is right. This looks a little bit sketchy, but I think it's playable. I just want to go one, two, three. Thank you to Holo Scenic for the four. Thank you to Chris Brow for the two months. Thank you so much. He plays B5. I don't think that's actually correct. I feel like there's got to be some way to attack here. Um, 96 is a move. I think I'm just going to go for the standard knight g5, though, with bishop f5 or bishop, maybe bishop e6 here. Let's go here. Okay, bishop f1. Um, I don't have to play h4. Uh, I can also go bishop f5. I think I'm going to go bishop f5 here. The point is that there is always some issue with bishop e5, maybe, but I can go queen e6 to line up threats. Okay, it goes queen b3, not queen e6, by the way. I think I go, I can go rook a d8, maybe. Should I, see, I should not have done this because now I'm going to have to waste the tempo. I should have put the bishop on e6 to begin with. Very poor by me. Very, very poor. But the game goes on. Okay, plays a4. Uh, at some point, I need to sack. So how do I sack is the question. Not c6. a5 is definitely a move. Is it a good move? Probably not. Knight d7, knight d5. Knight h3. Let's do it. I don't know if it's good, but let's do it. So if c6, I can just take and go here, maybe, or rook b8. There's rook there. If I take and play d4, what's going on? Wait, this is interesting. Wait, if I take, take, d4, knight d5, takes, 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 rook d8. Bishop c4, d e3. I don't know if it's good. That's the only problem. Can also just play c6, maybe. No. Whatever. Let's just go for it. Because knight d5, I can take. I can also play rook d8, maybe. Okay, goes 95. Now I can play queen d8. Let me think for one second. Bishop c4, d e3, fe3, c6, knight c7, queen d2. Knight e3, bishop a1. I'm going to do it. I don't know if it's good, but I'm going to try this. I mean, if bishop c7, I play queen d5. If bishop c4, the idea is I take, then I go c6. I can also take on a1 first, maybe. Do I take on a1 first or do I play c6? I think I play c6 first. Because I also have this capture too. I could have played c6 right away, maybe. Let's go here. I can't take first because then after c6, he goes here. And without the bishop, I can't keep the queen on the diagonal. So that's why I have to play c6 first. This looks like warp speed compared to Tata Steel. Yeah, no kidding. True. If he moves the knight, I can just take his knight. So I'll pre-move this capture. What is that? That's a weird, very weird move. For many reasons. First, I can take. Secondly, I can do the triangles. Hmm. Do I take a one or do I just? Hmm. One rook, I think I'm just going to take. So I have this check, and I hit this. I, I mean, the rook is still under big, big, big juice attack. But I think I'm doing well here. Takes queen g5. I mean, it's obviously the right triangle. But his rook is still under attack, too. So check, hit the bishop, hit the king, collect the bishop. Let's 
Let's take hit the queen. I'm still hitting the rook too. I also have bishop e5 coming as well, which probably is winning. Um, I can take the rook, but I think what I want to do is I'm just going to clean this up. I'm just going to clean it up very neatly here. No, no counterplay. I'm just going to check him and go like take the juicer. And now he's his king is so open. Let's check. And he resigns. We get the win. Big dub. Big dubs. Two out of two. Uh, okay, let's play e4 here. Good sportsmanship. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't like it. I get that as a tournament, but I mean, three one. Like it's just that. I don't know. Let's play d4 knight d2 here, and take. Um, I think knight f3 is the best move here with e5. Then you do Yonatone for the prime, Noxio G with the prime, Benjamin Carlos, then you tall man, then you Daxren. Then you do I'm so appalled for the four months, then you big baby jack for the four. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Oh, it's my move, sorry, let's go here. Okay, he's playing this b6 line. This is actually not great for black. It's playable, but it's generally better for white. Thinking subs when it's your move, eh, it's okay. Um I think knight f1, knight g3, knight h5 is fine. Normally, the problem with black pushing these pawns is that black can't really castle queenside now because he's, he's overexposed the queenside. But this, I mean, he's just, okay, one second. Let's, let's, let's take a second and, and calm down. Let's focus. I'm not really worried. He can take everything here on the queenside. Um, Maybe I should have played a3 to stop this this queenside expansion. Thank you, Logan Bell, for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. He goes queen a5. Shouldn't really concern me. I just go here and take. Strange move. Um, I think I'm going to play just h4 here. Again, the problem is black can't really castle this way, or he shouldn't be able to. Because I have bishop g5, knight g5. It's going to get very dangerous. I'm trying to play this in a very classical approach, too. Knight b6. Now I think he's asking for trouble. Now he's definitely asking for trouble, because now knight h5 is coming. And this should be really, really bad for black, objectively. I also have a4, a5, maybe. Didn't even consider it, but I think it's an idea. Now, do I take with the knight or the pawn? I think I take with the pawn. H5? I thought I could go g6 here. Wait a second. Let's think. I also... Yeah, I'm going to go g6 here. And he takes, and I go knight g5. Or queen c2 also. I mean, the problem is for black that I don't see how black is uh, castling the king ever anymore. H4, I just take. Let's go here. H4, just knight f1. I'm gonna go queen c2 and put pressure on the pawn as well. I just black can't black's king is really uncomfortable in the center here. Because king e7, okay. I can play a4, a5. I can also go knight e2. I can also go queen c2. I can also play rook e3. Let's see. A4, queen c6. A4 or er, um what's the move? Let's think. Queen c2, rook h6. This must be right, because I, I need to force him to put the rook in, on h6 here. Yeah, okay, this is definitely what I wanted to start with. Okay, and now I don't really want to play a4. I'm going to go knight e2 and try to go... No, I misplayed this. Should not have played it like this. Probably going to have to go a4, a5. I also can take maybe though I just realized maybe I can take and go knight d4. Okay, let's just go a4, a5 here. I mean maybe he goes queen a5. Okay, queen c4 I think is a mistake because I think what happens is now I can play a5 and I thought I'd rook a4 and c4 maybe. There should be a tactic here. Wait a second, let's go. If I go here, he takes on d4. Just go here. I want to guard the knight, and maybe go knight f4 next move also. I also can go rook b1 or f4 at some moment. 
It's a very, very tricky position to play. But I should be fine. I think I think Queen C4 is a big mistake. He should try to put the knight here. Because now he ends up with a passive knight that's stuck behind a pawn wall. And if he'd moved the queen back and gone for knight c4, I think he was actually better. Okay, do I take with a pawn or the knight? Another question. I'll take with a pawn. Knight takes was also definitely playable, but whatever. I have rook c1, I have rook b1, maybe rook b1, rook b7. His rook on h6 is really bad. It's boxing by the pawns here. He's also got no time. Uh, let's just go here, of course. Don't I don't want to trade queen, so I'm down a pawn. Okay, now he's asking for trouble. He's asking for big trouble with these knights. Knight f8. Now rook b1's a move. Rook c1 actually looks good. Because again, this knight is dead. This rook is dead. He's got so many paths. This knight actually here on the rim is stuck too. I can trade and go rook c6. I can also just go rook c6 right away. Just go here right away. Because even though I'm down a pawn, this, the passivity of his pieces means he's going to lose the game. Let's go here. Knight e6 is coming. Um, yeah, this is just winning. I just want to... Let's go check. Let's go... Maybe queen eight, Maybe queen h3. I really want to... Um, let's just go here. I'm going for check and mate, actually. Just very saucy mate. And his king is so bad. He's just completely boxed. Thank you to POE Buck for the tier one. Thank you so much. Okay, I go check and mate. There we go. He really let this get out of hand. Once I got the knights rotated to G5 and F4, he was always going to be losing. I wonder what the eval was. I'm just going to try on the bar. Right right here. I bet it was not clear. Let me see. Um, is there a way to do Let's do live analysis. Let's see. Um, oh, this is actually just winning. Queen C6. Oh, I guess I should. Huh. I just go, I go rook B1, rook F5, and just F4. Huh. Okay. Apparently, this is still winning. I, I wasn't convinced, but I guess the dominance of this horse on G5, targeting everything, the bad rooks, and actually, frankly, the open king and the lack of knight squares means it's winning. Fair enough. I thought, I thought Queen C6 was not clear. But anyway, right after I get knight f4, it's just lost. As you guys see, the horses are too strong. Because all of his pawns are under big, big threats here. So, yeah. So, anyway, we got the win. Three out of three. We'll move to round four in a second. Um, let's watch this game between Mechanic and Vitali Burdinsky. Thank you, to, uh, thank you to a two support for the tier one. Thank you to Mr. Tuna Davis for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So yeah, queen d6. Does queen d6 win here? It might win. He goes to e4, queen f7, king g4, maybe queen e6. I mean, still very, still very tricky position here. Very, very tricky. Uh, maybe queen d6, king f7. I'm looking great, thank you. Queen e6. Uh, queen e8 is a weird... Isn't there queen d3 again? And like, I don't know, weird position. Very, very weird position. Your hair is nice and fresh today. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, what just happened? Wait, oh, he blundered... Oh, he didn't go queen e6 check. Mishanik's getting very lucky today, I'm not going to lie. He should not have won the previous game, and he probably should not have won this game either. So he's getting a little bit lucky so far in this event. Um, he, he should not have won both these games. Move the one here in your face, please. What one here? Anyway, let's keep going. Zero point zero zero to mate and six. Yeah, I mean he got he never should have won the previous game for sure. Um, but he he did he did get lucky in that one. Okay, what's this one? We have a, a black sub two pawns. Black will win here. Thank you, Adam Aria. Thank you for the seven months. Appreciate it. Thank you. I look like a schoolboy. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, what? Uh, what just happened in this game? La la la. What just? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Rook d5. What is it? Rook d5, and it's a draw. Oh, rook e5, it's a draw. Wait, why do you allow rook c2? King d1. King d1. What is he doing? Bishop f2, king d1, rook c5, knight f3. I mean, these guys are really playing badly today. King e3, king e4, rook a4. Oh, by the way, I realize it's wrong color. It's a wrong color queen square, so a rook trade actually isn't okay either. Just check. 
Just check. I mean, knight f4 is a draw, but now knight h4. Check. Knight f3. This should be a draw now. King f4. Okay, check. Rook a4. Rook f4. King g3, h2. Oh, wow. Insane. Insane. We're seeing some crazy bloat blow throws by some of these, these FMs today. Crazy. King d1, of course. I mean, this is a draw with correct play, but there's no guarantee this is going to be a draw. Let's see. Rook a8. The good thing is for white, white is much more time. So white is more time, so that's the good news. Uh, rook c3, rook h3, rook h3, and then king d2. Still a draw, but King C four maybe? King C five maybe. Yeah, this is still a draw, but man. King C two of course. King D two. Okay, King D two. Now there's check. Yeah, now black's gonna win. Black's gonna win now. Rookie eight. Or maybe not. It's still a draw. Rookie two is important. King here. King f1. Rook f2, and now black wins. Yeah, now black's winning. Rook f7. And rook f7, and now you can you you can just you, you, yeah, this is winning. King f1. Just rook f8. Does does he know how to win this or not? This is still a win for black. Rook f7. Rook f7. Have they made 50 moves yet? How close are they to 50 moves, by the way? King e7, rook f8, rook d7. He missed bishop g3, which was winning. Rook d8, d8, rook f8, check. How was that 50 moves? Where was the 50th move capture? It was 104. They got to 144. So it was 40 moves. Strange games. A lot of strange games. Check the Magnus game. Magnus is still winning, I think. Um, who is this? This is uh, Fandarin. I'm going to play E5. This is um, this is uh, Ch Chigayev, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, let me check quickly. Yeah, this is yeah, this is Chigayev. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna play d6. Let's play here. I'm gonna play a different order this time against him. Thank you to take a chew pill for the two. Thank you to Postal Oshi for the three and Morin Gobaria for the three months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have I played him over the board? No, I've never played Jugaev over the board. I played him in the Pro Chess League and a couple other events, but never over the board. Because the thing is, he's trying to... Is, I don't know if he's trying to attack or not. That's what I'm not sure of. That's why I'm playing a delayed order. Because I don't know if he's actually trying to attack on the king side or not. Let's go here. Okay, so now I just castle. I think bishop e6 is fine. c6 is fine too. Actually, i got to be a little bit careful here. Can play I think I'm just gonna play h6 just very low key just slow very slow okay he goes Bishop b3 I know Bishop e6 is definitely playable here because here he's played a4 a5 so when he plays d4 and we trade okay now I know d5 is a move is it a good move is the question d4 takes takes e5 knight e4 cd4 knight g3 I'm not thrilled by it so let's just play traditional just rook e8 and then Bishop b6 or maybe takes and Bishop b4 Maybe. Maybe. Okay, now d5 is begging to be played. I mean, it's no good, it's no good, but I, I feel like I have to play it. d4, I can take. I can take. Okay, take. So I guess I just take with the bishop. Very dry position. It's probably just going to be a draw. Um, I think I just take. 
I can play queen b6 maybe. I can also go queen c7. Probably going to be a draw. Just go here. Let's hit the pawn on b2 and maybe rook d8. Nothing special here. Yeah. I didn't. I'll do a Tata. I'll do a Tata recap after um after Title Tuesday. I heard about Fabiano's game on Facebook actually, so that's why I'm familiar with. It. Uh. Uh, I'm still here, right? I'm still here, right? You guys, am I still here? Uh, okay. First of all, I have Bishop A two. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, I think he blundered this. I can just take the juicer. Yeah, I mean, uh, the last thing I want to do is get off to four and start and have the have the event get canceled because there's internet overload. Uh, I'm not, this is not me. I'm fu just take the juicer. I think just rook d8 is good here. No, I mean I'm still here, but I, what I'm saying is I'm saying they've had many issues due to over overload. Uh, too many people using the servers. So, uh, like, I mean, it's not, this would not be the first time it's happened, but if it happens again, when I'm on four out of four, man, am I going to be mad? Cause it happened. It happened again the other day, the other day it happened where I was on like four out of four and this, this happened. So yeah, the scariest part is connectivity. Well, it's not my connectivity. It's just, I'm worried that like, yeah, wait a second. Now I go, I mean, I'm up a juicer. I'm, I'm much better here. Let's just go. Let's just go here. Knight C4, Queen C7. He does a rookie five. I feel like there should be some tricks though. Yeah, I kind of blundered rookie five. I don't actually know why. But maybe I just go rook d5 and force an end game. D7, rookie seven. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why I played knight seven. I should have gone queen c7 first. Very poor decision. Although I guess I just take and go rookie two and rookie eight, and it's probably still winning. Okay, so he decides actually that he he doesn't believe that he's okay there. So now I have b5 maybe, 95, 95. Let's go b5. He takes, I go here, I hit the rook. Takes, I just take. This is a good pre-move. Okay, he goes back to d2, logical. Um, I'm going to go here, knight of four maybe. No knight of five, because I cover. I'm threatening knight e2. I can come back to g6 at some point. Yeah, queen e one's expected. Um, I can go knight g6, knight f5, queen d7. I can also just play like g5. I think I'm actually, you know what? I'm just going to be very technical about this and just force knights off the board. Um, okay, goes knight f3 as expected. Let's just go. Hmm, b5 maybe was not such a good move. I'm going to take. This might not be smart. Wait, that's just a blunder. That's a free pawn. He missed it. He hung this pawn on d3 here. Let's come back to d8. On the flip side, it did open up this diagonal, though. I'm probably going to play e4 here and just... Let's just do it. I, I don't know if it's right, but it just... It feels right. Okay, it goes knight d4. Okay, but that's not right. I'll go c5, hit the knight here on queen b8. Queen f4 is actually much better, but... Okay, we'll do... We'll go queen f4 now, and then I think I just... Knight f5, there's rook f3. Very bad. Okay, let's just take then. I do have knight f5, knight f5, knight e8, knight g3, f g3, queen c4. Let's go here, I guess. I'm so much better, but I've really been pretty careless in my approach this game. b3, what does that do? Nothing special. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's go here. So I can check and check, I guess. Let's go check. Yeah, this, this is just winning. go here uh, let's go here oh 
also i have so much more time notice how i have 48 seconds and he's two seconds so we get the win move to four out of four very very good oh my game just starts sorry you guys i gotta go back to my my game one second i gotta go back to my game sorry uh let's go here sorry i have to play my game one second i didn't even realize that i have to play yeah i'm playing a tournament you guys so i I'm, I, I have to get back to my tournament um I'll, I'll go watch him in like another 20 minutes or so but yeah let's go here yeah sorry you guys sorry apologies apologies but we'll, we'll get we'll, we'll I'll take a look at that afterwards do we want XUC in the background kind of hard to do that on this layout I mean I could theoretically okay let's go e4 I don't know what I'm doing it's castle maybe e5 I don't know what knight h5 does knight f4 just bishop f1 okay I'm gonna drop the bishop back I don't know if this is right maybe go g3 and fianchetto you can obviously take here hmm a d5 I don't want to play c4 is a move I don't love any of one second intuitively I feel like taking is right I don't know I can obviously take and play knight c4 maybe I'm gonna go here in IC4. I don't know if this is right, but I don't. I don't really want to trade. Think of Nurgan J for the five months. Okay, now I'm gonna go G3, Bishop G2, Fianchito, my Bishop. Play a four, Queen C2, maybe Knight C4. Think of Hafsa for the prime, CP for the prime. But yeah, XUC is amazing. He's playing great chess lately. Really, really good stuff. Uh, let's just go. I'm gonna go here because he takes. I just take. Five ninety two, no F five. I rook D one, of course. Yeah. Let's go, Bishop G two, and ninety four. Probably I'm going to go F4 at some point. Okay, go C6 straight. Now I think F4. Yeah, he's really misplaying this. I mean, takes, I get C4, Knight three. He also closed the bishop wall, or he closed the diagonal, sorry, with by putting these pawns in front. So all these gambits aren't really as effective anymore. Before they would have been effective, potentially with a pawn here, because he could just take and his bishop gets in. But he closed the wall with the two pawns. So it should not be good for him. Okay, let's think. I have rook f1. I mean, c4 is what I want to play. c4 and e5, but then I then I risk it. Okay, I have to take, obviously. c4, d4 is not what I want. Takes is not what I want. Maybe rook f1 and just rook f... Rook f1. What's his move? 92... Okay, it goes queen g5. I have knight f3 here, but then queen g2. Not in love with that rook here. It doesn't look right either. Let me think for a second. Don't like this. Knight of three takes six d four doesn't look good. I think I'm just gonna sack anyway. Okay, let's go here. King h one or rook f two. Maybe rook f two. Knight f one is a move. Queen h five. I can't take yet. I can go c four here though. But then queen e three. Whatever, let's just do it. Because queen e3, king here, d4. What's that? Wait, I just take? Did I miss something? I have knight of three. I think he blundered a pawn here for no reason. Because if rook d8, I also have queen c3. Queen c3. c5, I have bishop h8 maybe also. But I also just have bishop e3 as well. If rook d4, queen d4, rook d8, I go knight f3. Yeah, c5, bishop h8 to create this weird checkmate pattern is an idea. And then f6, I think I go knight f3. 
I'll prim with queen d4 because actually maybe I don't because rook d4 I also have knight f3 so I can't I have no safe prim with, okay does it wait okay my what am I missing I think I go here so I create this very weird battery checkmate here bishop e3 maybe was better though queen h6 rook f2 queen h8 maybe queen f6 even very tricky yeah it doesn't maybe I can go rook f3 rook h3 but I'm not sure so I'm just gonna play uh just take it slow with rook f2 just guard the knight bishop is safe here queen holds it if f5 at some point I have bishop f6 I assume okay goes rook d7 now I should be able to unwind this let's just go here hold this hold this uh hold the square very importantly I hold this square so he can't he can't do the bro lift now I do have e5 here I can also just move my knight somehow I need to uh no queen f3 queen f3 rook d2 bishop g5 rook f2 no that's no good I think I'm gonna play wait I have bishop h wait a second I have bishop h3 here six bishop yeah. okay let's just go here Oh, I just no wait. Rook f6, I take. Wait. <sighs> oh my god, does this actually work from when I have e5? Do I check first or do I play e5? go here first because I'm threatening both okay now this should be winning let's go here Okay, dude, not right now. Oh my God. Just blunder queen I want to. Blundered, he blundered, yes. Do I take the rook or wait? No, I just take and take. Misplayed this. <sighs> Should have been winning this.
Oh my god, I'm winning in one move. I'm winning if I, it's my move with queen f2. This is just winning if it's not 50 moves. I mean, I really bungled this. This should have been winning. Terrible game. That was just winning. No, it's winning after queen f2, actually. If I get the queen to f2, I, I think I'm winning. It should be winning there, but I, I didn't. I, I wasted too many moves at the start. Just take. Actually, why am I playing this? I should have won that game. That was really bad. Actually, why did I do that? Mm. Let's go here. Yeah, I mean, I the thing is, it was a it was a draw at the start. Blame the dono? No, I'm not gonna blame the dono. Um, that wasn't the reason I didn't win. I didn't win because I at the end when it was the queen versus the pawns, I panicked. I I, I should have been winning that. Um, uh, let's go here. A draw is okay though, but I have to win this game. It was not a draw at the start. The problem is when we reached that end game with the queen versus rook, I didn't realize I should have gone queen e7 too instead of bishop g8. But at the start of the end game, I didn't realize I had two seconds there. I thought I had more time than I did. And so I panicked when we got into the queen versus the pawn. How is it winning? Can't the rook cut off the king? Not when the king is on h1, I don't believe. I could be wrong on that, but I, I feel like there should be a way to, to triangulate at the end after queen f2. Maybe not. Queen e1, king g2, check. I mean, maybe there's still no way, but it's definitely very close. Let's just castle. And if e4, I go... Whatever. Okay, I shouldn't be... I actually shouldn't be talking. This is competitive. Let's go here in d 5 Yeah, the, the engine will always say a draw because of 50 moves. So I have to go into analysis and go back like 20 moves and then, then work it out. But yeah. Okay, let's go here. If I set up the position for move one, then, then we'll know the evaluation. But unless I do that, there's no way to actually know. Uh, I thought I could play knight of four here maybe and hit the bishop. This actually looks very shaky at best. Can't do is watching your game in the eval. Well, it's going to always say plus two, but there's a fortress there. What I had to do is I had to go queen c6 at the right moment. I mean, I just really misplayed that, basically. I mean, we'll see what happens here. I don't like my position, but I think knight f4 is an important move to open up the diagonal for this bishop. Really important. I'm right. It's winning after queen f2, but it's like... It's winning after queen f2, but again, I wasted so many moves getting to that point that it wasn't going to happen. Okay, bishop a3 I expected. Let's see. Okay, I have c5, knight c5, knight c5, d c5. I mean, my instinct says I should actually gambit something here. With c, maybe c5 right away or takes. Hmm. I think it's got to be, I mean, this has to be right and just gambit. Because if if my if my knight ends up if my bishop doesn't get activated then this is really bad he can take obviously but I take and I go like b4 and then like rook a2 queen c7 or maybe queen c7 right away even but it was it was winning for sure time is in your favor possibly flag no it's three plus one that's why you have to be precise on the board um and you have to you have to be precise you can't just you can't just make draws there or not draws why um why you can't just flag someone sorry. Yeah, I'm not going to watch a clip. I'm playing a game, you guys. So I'm gambiting temporarily, but I have a great knight and a great bishop. We'll see. Okay, takes. Obviously, I take. Now, the question is, do I go queen c7 or queen c8? Do I even go b4? This is another big question. I have b4 here. My instinct says queen c8, but... Actually, wait, queen c7? He go Oh, wait, no, he goes b4... Queen c7 must be right, though. So I hit both. I mean, b4 is what I wanted to play, but it didn't seem right. He does a b4, but then I have rook d8, maybe. Maybe a5? Very messy. Yeah, he does go b4. If I go a5, he takes. I go rook d8. I mean, the question is, do I play rook d8 or do I go a5 first? I think I... 
Hmm. Just clear rook d8, hit the queen. Okay, I'm gonna go here. He takes, I go here. If he takes, I take, and then I take. So I also have b3, I think. He can't go rook a7 because of takes, 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 and I hit the rook. B3, I can take. Uh, it's still not actually clear. I have to do this. I'm not happy about this. He's got rook b1, and I'm not sure I can win this anymore. How do I go for tricks is the other question. Maybe. Let's go here. I threaten. Maybe. I Wait. Actually, I could have just taken this pawn. Maybe whatever. Queen c6, okay, so I take. Push g3. It's gonna be a draw, probably. I misplayed this again, unreal. Oh wait, no, he can't take the pawn. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, he can't take the pawn? So rook b8 was the move. Ow. Oh, yeah, yeah, why did I do this? Can play. I'm gonna go for something with h5. Was B7. I'm gonna sidestep with this. I'm trying to get really tricky here, basically. Uh, but I, again, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just misplaying this. Go here. Wait. Let's check. Where's the win? There's got to be a win here. Let's go check. He can't go. Wait. I take and I go queen d1. There we go. Queen d1 and it's cactus thorn checkmate. No king moves. Got the win. Crazy game. Crazy game. This kind of makes it for the last one because I probably should not have won this game. But the thing is, like, he he let it get here. And I, I mean, I'm sure it's still a draw, but let me let me let me check this. Oh, after h3, he's winning. Oh, because he takes his queen f3, and he's got the rook behind the pass pawn. So where did I go wrong? Let me see. Oh, at rook c8, and takes, and... Hmm. Oh, I should have just gone h4 right away, apparently. h4, queen c8... And then King H7. Wow. Can you let us see the bar? But can't you guys see the evaluation? You can see the you can see the evaluation though. So hmm. Not happy, but it's a win. So let's keep going. It's still only a draw, so I'm still very much in the tournament right now. So let's watch this game between Taboy Taboyi and Saichev. King B1. This again. This might be another fortress scenario. Look at these knight. This is another fortress. Look at the, this. Is like my game last game. It's just another fortress. I had forced checkmate with queen d1. Oh my dear lord. Rook, queen d1 was just checkmate. You're right. Rook takes b4 is not ideal. But whatever. Let's keep going. Um, no eval bar. Yeah. 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 Not right now. This is just a draw. It says minus four, but you see, it says minus four, but it's not actually. Um, it's not actually. Yeah. It's just a fortress. Rook d2. Rook d1. It's just like my game before. There's just a just a draw. Yep. There's just nothing that black can do here. Rook d1. And what's amazing about this is not only does black have a queen for a rook and a knight, he also has an extra pawn too. It's one, two, three, four, five, and white has four, but it's a draw. It's crazy. This is a draw. It's a minus four fortress, exactly. Yep. There's just no way to break through. This is insane. Ouch. Yep. You can push d4, but I, I mean, actually, at some point, you should go d4 and c4 and pray. Yeah, you got to go d4, dude. D4. You got to go d4 and c4 at some moment. Only hope. d4, cd4, c4, and hope. I think it's still a draw, but anyway, yeah. That's, that's my guess. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's a draw. Again, another fortress with a rook and a knight against the queen.
Yeah, amazing. Uh, watch the XC clip. I'll watch on the next break. Um, let's watch. Uh, not many games going. Minus four plus plus twenty armor. <laughs> What's helped XTC progress so fast? I think it's um, it's just his love of the game. It's his love in the way that he just keeps grinding. I mean, that's really all it is. Uh, King E2 and King E1, you guys. This is the, you know, this was in Puzzle Rush when I played Ray Robson. What is King D4? King E2, Rook A2, King E1, Rook A1, Rook B3. That's just a Puzzle Rush puzzle that I got right and Ray got wrong uh, in our Puzzle World Championship the other day. So bad. Just so bad. Just so bad. King C3 here. Just so bad. Okay, now rook e2. Okay, and, and rook f2. <laughs> just not good enough. Yeah, he likes improve. Yeah, no, I mean, I think that's a large part, but it's just a grind. Like, he loves the grind. He loves the grind. And I, it's not even I think that he's doing anything different. It's that, like, at some point, it, it just clicked in his mind. It just started clicking. So there's, like, the light bulb that went off, and it started clicking for him. Yeah, now it's a draw. I think we're going to hit a 50 move roll. Rook down. Wait, Rook A2 is winning. Black won by timeout. I mean, King D1. And this is this is still still winning, but they were so close to 50, I think, at this point. Yeah, anyway, let's keep going. Oh, we play Eric. Okay, let's play E4. Round 7, let's keep going. This is 3-1, though. This is not 3-0, so it's not the same thing. Like, I can't just play. I can't just try to run him over on the clock. Um, he's having a good tournament, six out of six. Yeah, but this is very serious now. The rare collar shirt looking good. Yeah, I don't normally wear a collar shirt, but anyway, okay, let's play this. Okay, Eric keeps playing the con or con time off pulse and stuff. I don't really understand why, because I, I it doesn't feel to me like it suits his style. Okay, it goes queen b six. I'll go here. The problem with this though is he wastes the tempo. I'm going to do something different, actually. I'm going to play this uh, more classical setup with knight d2. I'm going to go knight d2 and, um, and a4. Knight c3. Eric and I have played knight c3, queen f3 lines. We've literally had like a million games in that. I know g4 is a move at some point. Um, I can play a4, a5. I don't know if it's good. I'm going to do it, though. And play like a5, maybe. Maybe just rookie one. I also go queen e2. a5, b5, and I want to go c4. It doesn't work right away, but it's definitely an idea down the road. Queen e2 allows h5. Am I really worried about it? Potentially, yes. Realistically, probably no. Let's think about this. Actually, I, I should not. I don't know why I'm thinking so long. Let's just go c4. Maybe I go a5. I want to go a5. That's my idea. Plays rook b8. Interesting. I would really like my knight on a different square, objectively, but whatever. Just go here and take. I'm going to go back and hit the pawn. I mean, he probably just goes back, which would be 7. But I'm moving too slowly. I need to be a little bit quicker here. C5 is obviously a move. C5 or rook C1 or queen E2. I think I'm just going to play queen E2 and rook C1 maybe. I really do want to go C5 at some moment. Misplay. I misplayed this though again, I think. Yeah, I misplayed this. I'll go here, maybe knight a5 and b4. I actually thought he was going to play h5, but he's being much more positional in his approach in this game. With d5, I take go e5. I also have c5. I should be very slightly... I think d5 is a mistake, actually. Because I think I can go e5 here. Bishop b4, e takes f6, bishop a5. I mean, I don't... That's such a tricky position to play in a blitz game. I'm going to play it. I, I don't know if this works, but I just... I feel like there's... Oh, he's just got c takes d3. Whoops. I actually forgot that was even a move. Whoa, I just forgot c takes d3 is a move. Jeez. Let's take... Yeah, I have not played this well. I've completely misplayed this position. 
Let's go here. This is not good. I'm I'm probably I can probably draw this with some good play, but I don't think I'm gonna win this game. Just blunder this. Should have taken ed. I should have gone cd5 and then ed5. I don't know why I didn't do that. Just insane. Completely insane here. I just take and then I go e5. Hmm. Okay. I guess I just. It's just a draw. I'll probably offer a draw in a second. Unless I can get him to maybe trade and get get, I what I need to do is I somehow I need to trick Eric into thinking he can try to win here. That's what I need to do. If I can trick Eric into thinking he can win here and and he like takes and goes rook before, then I have chances. But I have to somehow trick him into wanting to play for a win instead of a draw. I should have just taken C five and then E five was good. I'm feeling fine. I'm happy with my play overall, but I'm not happy with this. Um, I'm not happy with the game against jo uh, not Jocelyn, Renato. I'm very unhappy with that game. I feel other than that game, I've played pretty well. Well, now that I'm looking at this, I'm wondering what, why did I go bishop before? Okay, he plays the other order, which gives me the pawn on a six potential. I also have rook c7. Wait a second. This is not good, though. If I take, take queen b7. I don't have knight c4. I do have rook c6. I guess what, here? And then I go here. Because takes, I have rook here, I think. And then rook b1. Did I just blunder again? Queen d4, knight of... Th okay, he doesn't do it. Okay, yeah. Problem is Eric, actually. I think Eric knows the name of the game. And he's not going to get chippy and try to win here. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, I actually, you're right. I have no time. You're right. Okay, let's take. You guys are right. I just realized I have 40, 40 seconds. But it's not terrible, actually. It's still very playable. Okay, let's just go G3. Let's just force a trade of queens. I mean, I'm better here. The good news is it's going to be an end game. Wait. Let's go, whatever, let's just go here. Let's go like, I just gotta move, I just gotta move, what am I doing? I'm way too slow. Oh, I knight b6. Oh my gosh, I missed knight b6. Oh my gosh, I missed knight b6, which was just good. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. How did I miss knight b6? So bad. Uh, so pathetic that I missed knight b6. Okay. Literally pathetic. Let's go here. Why did I do this too? Did I just wait? No, he's got queen g two of the draw. <sighs> so bad.
What's wait? What's it, dude? What is Eric doing? So bad. So bad. That was a total choke by Eric. That was so bad. So bad. Thank you to Arthur Music for the Prime, Keat Roof with the Prime, and Hernandez with the Prime, Lanar with the Prime, JB High Five with the Tier 1, H Born with the Prime, Cola Craft with the Prime. Thank you to Seymour with the Prime, uh, De Deathless Trout for the Tier 1, Megala Dog for the Tier 1, Heal Leviathan for real for the 2, and Tar Hills for the 8. Thank you to Scranny Moss for the 4, GG Gunning for the 2, Cosmic Bum for the 7, Buddy Hefe for the 2. CZ for the two, Gabriel Emrivis for the three, Zarm for the two, The Furious George for the two, Stuff Trinity for the two, and Nick Nikoka Trina for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you to Reaper Michael for the three bucks. Googly as well. Thank you so much. Um Wait, did he hang his queen? Did he wait, did he actually hang his queen? I thought he put the queen on G2. Did he he actually did hang it? Oh, he actually did hang it. You know, when he went Queen G2, in my mind, I saw Queen G2, so I wasn't even thinking H1. I thought it was G2. Okay, so I'm not crazy. He did hang it. Okay. Wow. See, in my mind, when he when he, when he he played Queen H1, I saw Queen G2. I literally just saw it. Anyway, whatever. It's still a win. Yeah. I, I literally didn't see it. For some reason, it's just in my mind, I had already tunneled on Queen G2. Uh, we'll look at the we'll look at the clip after the eighth round, which is the next game coming up. Thank you to Grand Yeeter for the prime zipline for the prime. Thank you to uh, Simon V Yo for the two. Thank you to B George as well for the seven. Hikaru's powers are still not back. I mean, I went twenty six and zero last night in Arena Kings, so um, I I'm not too concerned. But actually, this game was bad. This was a bad game. This game probably makes up for the game against Renato because I think this game. Probably I draw this game, I would say, like, I'm assuming that I draw this game, like, probably 15% of the time. I win it probably 10% of the time, and probably I lose it, like, 70 to 80%. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this game makes up for the draw, because probably I should lose that, like, 70%. The position was bad. The time was bad. There was nothing really redeeming. Okay, we're playing Tabata Boy. We'll play Knight at 6. Um... What do I want to play against him? A draw is not a bad... Draw is not a terrible result. So, okay. He does this one. I'm going to play my old line, which is this. I'm going to play this one. So, you should go bishop g5 or bishop g3 and then h6 and g5. Or he takes. Wait, can he get away with this? I guess it's just a. It's just very dry and drawish. His knight b three. I take. I mean, it's not a very exciting position. I can also maybe go f six. Is there a way to get cheeky and creative here? Is what I'm trying to figure out. I can also just take and go queen a five. Just take and go here. I'm gonna take the pawn. I guess next one we'll go like queen d six. It's not. It's not lovely or anything special, but it's a game of chase. Let's just take. I'm going to go g6 here and bishop g7. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's somewhere in between. Thank you to Terry J07 for the 1,000 bits. Thank you to McMillney for the three. Clash of Metal for the prime. Osher Tag with the tier one. Fishy Chicken with the prime. Thank you so much. Let's go here. Thank you to Jazz Wars for the prime. Okay, let's target the juicer. This is about as good as I'm going to get. I mean, it's, it's pretty balanced, but I do have two bishops, and he has a compromised pawn structure long term. Okay, I think bishop g4 looks logical. I want to go e5. Maybe just rook d8. Again, very dry position. By the way, you guys, just to add one thing about that last game against Chesbra, against Eric, I he'll never ha I don't he'll never has have as good of a position as he had in that game against me. Like he literally had everything. He had the position, he had the time. 
Like he'll never have a better chance of winning a game than than than, than like in that situation. Like literally, that's just as good as it gets. Now the problem with this position is I want to play for a win, but it's also like I can't. Re- I mean, the, the the obvious thing to do in a normal game would just play trade, play D four, make the quick draw. But this is titled Tuesday. There are a lot of people who've drawn already, so I actually kind of wonder if this is not wrong to be playing for a win here, because a draw is not the end of the world. So maybe I should be playing more precise than just making moves. But again, whatever. Let's just go here. I think I'm gonna go b6 and bishop b7 or bishop a6 maybe. Is h5 really a threat? Probably not a big deal. Again, I'm not thrilled by this. Do I really want to play h5? Not really, but I'm gonna play it. Okay. Let's go back. Very balanced. I'm down on the clock again because I'm not paying attention. So I need to move speed up a little bit here. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go here. Maybe just rook d6 at some point. Maybe bishop d7. Not rook e8, though. I'm probably going to go here and king g7. Have to be a little bit careful about these sacks. I'm going to go here. Although I just gave him the sack, which I shouldn't have given him. Although I guess I just dropped back. Okay, let's go. Um, Let's just go here. Very balanced, not much happening. Now, Tab- Tabata Boy is using too much time here. The position's getting very, it's it's flattening out again to a spot where I'm gonna end up on time. Knight e5, I guess I go d4. Okay, he goes knight g5, interesting. So I have d4 here for starters. Then he has, rook- no, he doesn't have rook e6, wait. So let's just go for it. I don't know if it's good or not. He takes, obviously I take, he takes. Now, obviously, take, I can also just make a, um, here, rookie six is no good. Can I throw in a check, maybe? I also have rook d4. Let's just do it. Queen a6, I'm going to go rook d2 and play for the quick initiative on the uh, queen side. If rookie six, I just take the juicer, and then I take the rook. Yeah, there are a lot of people on seven and out, out of eight. Like, Jeffrey's already here. I think I need to win this game, though. Just my, my intuition tells me I had to win. It was 94. Interesting. Okay, I think I go... Do I go C6 or B7? I think I go to... Maybe I just drop back, actually. Wait, then, he, then A6 hangs. So let's go here to target the diagonal. I wanted to go here, but I'm worried about some takeover of this of this mid lane. I can play Rook D8, probably. Actually, why not? Let's just go Rook D8. So if he takes, takes. There's no actual way to win. Yeah, Rook D is a good move, I think. A very good move, because now I do the I do the bro lift, and I think I'm I think I'm looking pretty good here. Because the, the bro lift is is really strong. I'm hitting the pawn on a four two. Maybe I could have taken right away, but anyway, let's keep going. I feel like this is starting to get a little bit iffy for my opponent. I don't really want to go B five. Um I don't want to play F five. Maybe just Maybe I I gotta move though. Let's just go B5. I just gotta move. No time. The rooks are really strong. My bishop is okay. It's not great, but it's playable. The bros working together, exactly. He goes queen c2. I'm gonna go here. I'm getting ready to play bishop a3. Okay, he goes knight c3. That's a good move. I actually missed it. Let's go here. Don't I have rook d1 here? Or do I trade? Um, is this a must win or not is what I have to ask myself. Uh, I don't know. But you know what? I'm going to go for it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go for it because I don't think I should be I should be losing here. And I have like bishop c5 and then like here and here. Okay, I thought I had bishop c5, rook e6, queen f5. Let's see. Rookie six, I think I have queen f5 or something. It was rookie five. That's a good move. Um, I go here, maybe. I got to move. I got to move. I'm thinking too long. I'm hitting the pawn. Wait, queen c6? No, wait. Just take. Let's 
go here. I should be winning now, I think. I also have F6, maybe? His rook is trapped. His rook is trapped. Yes, there we go. His rook is trapped. No, no squares. We pick up the dub. Pick up the dub. There we go. Another big win. Seven and a half out of eight. Very nice win. Uh, his rook gets trapped here. No square. No square. No square. And, of course, everything is held together. This is why pawns are amazing pieces. Um, Because they can trap the rooks here. So, yeah. We get the win. We move to... um, We move to... uh, What do we move to? We move to seven and a half out of eight. Okay, so we move to seven and a half out of eight. I'm going to take a short break, and I will be right back, you guys. Again, a draw is not the end of the world. I think I need two and a half out of three. So I do have white, though. So which this is like playing football, same thing, where um, I with the white piece, you're considered to be on the attacking side. You have an advantage at the start of the game. So you want to you be more aggressive at the start. So um, it's not where you want to you know, kick a field goal and not go for the touchdown, or you want you know, you, you to um, not go for it on fourth and two, and you want to punt the ball when you're down by 11. With the white piece, you want to go for it. So I figure my best chances here are to go for it with the white pieces. Because I'm going to have two whites, one black, so I want to win here. Is he not? Did he leave the building? Okay, so I'm going to get a time advantage at least. That's the good news. Hopefully I can use the time later on. No, I mean, I think, that, I think the Packers should have definitely gone for it. But I think the fourth and one by the Steelers was really bad. Like, not going for it down by 11 was really bad. Really bad. He's planning? No, he's just, he's AFK. I need a blitz for the prime. The problem is, however, I would have played E4. If I knew he was going to take this long to move, I would have, I would not have done it like this. Anyway. Okay, let's go C4. Okay, plays a Slav. Let's play D4. Bishop G4. Play H3. I think we're just going to castle and go Queen E2. Bishop B4. I think I'm going to play knight D2. I mean, the thing is, I'm up a minute on the clock, so I'm going to castle here. I can play A3. I think I will, actually. Is E5 a threat is a big question. I can take... I think I'm just going to go rook D1 here. Okay, now I can move my queen. I think I will, actually. Goes bishop a5. A move that I don't think is great. Because e5 I can just take and take. We'll see. Okay, does that. I think I just take. Oh, wait. I don't have d6. Ack. Can sack a piece, maybe. It's interesting. I can also just take. Knight e5, cd5. Problem is a very dry position. I think I'm gonna do this and I think I'm gonna just try to play okay takes I was not expecting that actually that's kind of surprising did not expect that at all maybe I just go rook c1 let's go here again I'm moving a little bit slower because I'm up on the clock so I feel like he has to move quicker so the odds of him making a mistake are higher since he can't just move instantly here but knight f6 is a good move let's go let's go here I'm willing to give him e4 because I have b5 I feel like Okay, does go e4. Okay, let's go b5 and just try to play on the queen side, maybe. Actually, why did I do that? That was stupid. Just queen d6. Uh, I guess I go knight f1. g3 is maybe a move too. Maybe g3 is better. Let's go back. He's down on the clock, though. So I'm basically, I'm trying to keep the position unclear so that this 30 second time advantage I have, I can use it later on in the game. Because that will be important. I can play a4, obviously. And I think I will play a4 here. Try to chip the structure a little bit further. I'll pre-move it because it's a safe pre-move. Because b4, that looks like a bad move to me optically. Maybe it's not. I think I'm just going to go for a... Just go for a double stack. I really like my position here, actually. Now that I look at it more.
Because the problem is he has to think here. That's the problem. So he has to think. So now I go here. I go for the double. Rook c6. I mean, I should be much better here. Let's play rook c5. Hit the knight. Hit the pawn. A lot of pressure lurking. And he's not even going to be able to use this diagonal. So my bishop is not great on b2 behind the pawns. First of all, I can take and take. So he kind of cracked a little bit. Secondly, though, can I go like... I feel like there's something here that I'm missing. Don't want to take... Let's go here, maybe. Because now, how does he guard at all? He can't. He blundered. We're going to win this game. He can't hold everything because I, I, I have the legendary triple stack. And my rook and my bishop, he's just losing here. He's also way down. I mean, he has a knight b6 takes, though. Takes, 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 knight b2. He still has a trick. Still has a trick here. Hmm. I can theoretically even gambit, but this is this is an event that matters, so there's no way I'm going to gambit here. Let's think. I don't want to move the queen. Rook c7 must be right. Wait, why isn't this just winning? Wait. So I can double stack. I can do the legendary double on the seventh rank here. Yeah, this should just be winning here. My man, one second. You got to move. Okay, he does find rook g8, which is the only way to try and stay in the game. But he's kind of, he's not really in the game. That's the problem. I just go here, attack the pawn. Okay, he goes h4. I'm just, I can be very, very slow and methodical here now. So I'm going to go king f1, king e2. Actually, wait, I can't go king f1, king e2 because he's knight f2. Stupid me. Let's go f3, though, and just takes. His knight is still getting trapped here. Yeah, his knight, he can go to b2. He resigns. Okay, win the game. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad for him because the position got very messy, and this is why when your opponent gives you a big time advantage, like in this opening, for example... I was able to kind of induce this. Now, in a normal, now if the time was even here, I'm not sure that that I win this game. But because of the time advantage, he's already feeling a little bit unsure of himself. Because uh, it's like you feel unhappy when you're down on the clock with, without doing anything wrong, really. And so then, then when it gets to like the critical moment, he he tries to quickly play this b4 a5 because he's down a minute on the clock, and then it goes all it backfires. And then I can use time, and he also has to start thinking for way too long. Um, so yeah, we got the win. Pretty good stuff. Eight and a half out of nine. Let's keep watching the other game between Giga Kuparidzi and Kuban. And this looks like a draw to me. This should be a draw with correct play. Why do you AFK? Yeah, I mean, I feel bad for him, obviously. But this should be a draw with correct play. But if White can get the king over, king e3, I don't like this. Now rook d4. Okay, rook a3. This should be a draw, though. This definitely should be a draw. Like f5, maybe? Okay. I think you have to... Whoa, whoa, what is that? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Now, I mean, you kind of have to take... But you have check, I think. You have check, 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 and it's just a draw. Very fortunate for black, but it's going to be a draw. Yeah, now you just check, check. You can also just check again on a3. Good technique by black. Always the pre-move on a2. Now you have to take, but now the king gets over here. King e6. And now rook a2. And this is this is actually technically a draw, but white might be able to win this. Rook a4, king f6. It's a good check. Rook a4, obviously. Just check. Rook a1. Just check. Well, black has no time, I just realized. Black might lose on time here. Yeah, rook a4. Yeah, this, this should still be a draw. Rook a4. And now you can kind of just wait. King f6. H5. F4. King f6. 
king here. Rook b5 is the only move to draw here. Only move. Now now you lose after king g5. Yeah. Now rook f6. Okay, so so uh so Giga Kubrazi is gonna win, which means I'm gonna play him in the next game. Uh it's three plus one. So I'm gonna play him in the next game. If I win the next game, I'm almost guaranteed to win the event, I think, because all these other guys are, are out of nine. No, maybe not. They're actually they're two guys who, who jumped to eight, so it's not actually guaranteed. But yeah. H7 wins here. Yeah. I, amazing watching the difference between Hikaru and other players. I have chess queen on the other tab, 100% focus on concentration. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, it happens. Thank you to Last Life for the two, Minato for the two, Anana Chess for the Prime, and Trixuals for the Prime. Thank you so much. Genghis Khan, yes. But Genghis is on eight. Genghis and Swarnapuri are both on eight. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we're playing Giga. Giga next game, I think. But, yeah, we keep going. Just get better, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Thank you, to Clay Flay, for the prime. Thank you so much, to Clay Flay. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, let's keep rolling. Keep rolling along. Two more rounds. Yeah, it's it's eleven rounds. So this is round number ten. I have the black piece. I forget what his repertoire is exactly. I I beat him with black in a game in a previous title Tuesday. I don't remember what it was exactly. So I'm just, I'm going to say solid. I don't know if it's right, but I'm going to stay solid. Because again, a draw means I get white against somebody in the last round. So I can live with that. Actually, I think I go here. Yeah, and bishop b7. Let's go here. Just castle. D5, okay, knight A5. Bishop D2, I'm trying to remember. I think the move is C5 here. Yeah, C5 is definitely the move. And if he plays N peasant, I can take. If he goes D6, I just go knight C6. Bishop C3, that's a strange move. Um, I can obviously take. I'll just take. Takes with a pawn. Another very weird move. I think now I go d6 and just take. b4. Wow. Now, this is definitely not theory. So, this is very off the beaten path here. Um, okay, I can... Uh, if I take... Okay, I see his idea, though. Hmm. Very weird. Can not play f6. I don't want to take on c3. I don't really want to take here. At the same time, I think I will do it. So I do have a5. This is my idea, at least. Because takes, I have this and this. Maybe it's bad, though. It doesn't look right somehow. I feel like I've misplayed this opening. I'll go here. And the reason I'll play b4 is now the knight is dominated. I think I just go here. Queen e3, I definitely have to play f5. I have to activate. Okay, I go here to hit the knight. Queen e3, logical. I can play rook b8. I'm going to go here, maybe f5. Maybe rook e8 as well. Oh, but he's got knight c4. Yikes, I forgot all about knight c4. <sighs> Very poor. I can trade. I can also play a4. Wait, a4, rook c8 is a problem. The rook c8, knight c8. Is that a problem? It's not great, but I'm going to do it anyway because I can just take. My pawn is actually going down the board pretty quickly here. Knight c4, okay. Let's think queen a6 maybe. Plays b3. Then maybe rook c5 and rook c8. I don't want to play a3. I don't want to go bishop b5. c5 looks like a pretty logical move here. Oh, but then he can take. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait a second. If rook e8... Hmm. Let's think for a sec. Got in a very bad position this game. Shoot. Wait, no. Um. 
Okay, knight d6 is a threat. What do I what do I have that I can do to blunt that threat? Not a3, not rook c4. Bishop b5. No, the knight b5. What am I doing? Okay, focus. Got to do it. I've just got to do it and hope. Uh, b3, b2 is good enough. Yeah, I'm moving too slowly today. I'm just moving too slowly. It's got queen g3, knight c8 maybe. Plays e5. Wow, what a move. Um, that looks insane though. Somehow that looks like a crazy man's move. Um what does that do? Wait a sec. Just take. Wait, this can't be right. Wait a second. Just take. Wait, what is what is he doing? He just completely just lost his mind. This dude just lost his mind for no reason, literally. B2, B2. Wait a second. This can't be right. Wait a second. This can't be right. There's got to be some move. Do I take? D7, B2. Queen C8. Wait a second. Just go here. I don't have time, unfortunately. Oh, I just blundered. Just blundered. Ah, fudge. Got queen e5. And now I give him knight e6 too. I should have just put the king on f7 at least. It was insane. Why did I do that? Let's go here maybe? So stupid. I just threw this all away for no reason. Let's go here. Too slow again. Just too slow for no reason at critical moments. I don't know why. Just too slow. Just too slow at the critical moments. Wait, I can also just take maybe. I have to go here. It's an actual threat. There is, right? Too slow, yeah, just too slow. That was a terrible game. I mean, basically, I just threw that game completely. I was just winning after. I'm just winning here, completely winning, and I just panicked because I, I used too much time here. I think, yeah. Rook takes c1, and I'm just yeah. Rook takes c1, takes and queen f6. Yeah, no, I threw that game. I completely threw that game. That was so pathetic. I mean, I completely threw that game. I knew I was better here because this was such a bad move by him. And yeah, I just threw the game. Yeah, I just threw this game. Completely threw it. I forgot there was 96 too. I just, for some reason, I, I thought I could go here and I blundered 96 shock. That was terrible. That was ridiculous. Then again, I mean, I've been moving too slow throughout the event. Like the game against Eric, I moved too slow also. Like I'm just moving too slow. And that's the problem. When you move too slow, bad things happen. Bad things just happen. Like here, yeah, if I, if I just take, I'm fine. But I also misplayed this opening quite quite significantly too. Like I never should have gotten to this point. Like I was supposed to take on B3 here and I didn't take. Very bad. It's okay. Well, I mean, I won Arena King, so I'm not that annoyed, but it's it's frustrating when like your opponent like blunders. Like just he played something that was not good and then because I was too all, too low on time, I just mis misplayed it. So it's frustrating. Yeah, I'm in second but only temporarily. It was pathetic. Well, somebody's going to win here. If they actually, if someone wins here, they get to nine. So if someone can beat him in the last one, there's a chance. That's true. Yeah, like if Genghis beats him, which could happen, then I have a shot.
but I have to win now in the last game. Nonetheless, all, all things all things being all things being equal here, all things being equal, um, it's better to lose a game like this than to have lost a game against Eric Hansen. Let's be serious. So if you look at if you look at it on the bright side, um, there would have been no there would have been no uh, no stop to endless memes if if I had lost a game against Eric like I should have, and I had won this game. So I can, I can I can I can live with it from that standpoint because you know last time that I lost to the bras in a game in Arena Kings a few weeks back and I noticed they made a video out of that so um, so if I'm gonna lose a game it's best not to lose a game to him um, anyway no it's 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 eleven rounds not ten um, yeah so there is that yeah I mean I'm frustrated by the game because I mean he he did blunder e5 was not the best move. But yeah, I just I got careless here. Yeah, takes and takes. Because the line that I saw was this. This is actually what I saw. I saw that if we get to this position, I can take and I hold everything. But I forgot that. Actually, I think if I go, if I take right away, yeah, he just takes the rook. So I just I wasn't thinking about taking and then taking and then going queen f6. Considering you declined declined Eric's Botas gambit, yeah, yeah. The evaluation it was it's it's actually better. I, I take take. You can see it in the you can see it in the box where the standings are. Takes takes and queen f6 takes and bishop e8. And black's better because you have rook d8 here. Very, very careless of me. Also, if takes b3 takes, there's bishop f7 to collect the knight. Very poorless. Um, but yeah, no, it's 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 what it is. It's frustrating. But still, there is a chance because uh because Genghis could win. If Genghis wins and I win, then there's or wait, no, actually, no, I can't win. Sorry, I can't win. No, never mind. I'm I'm out of my mind. No, I can't win. But whatever. I won Arena Kings last night, so I'm not too frustrated. Because uh, Arena Kings is worth 500. Thank you to Volmo in for the Prime, Honest John for the Prime, A Storm for the Prime, Jewish Cat for the Prime, Simply Snake for the uh, Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You have to get angry. Well, I mean, I just I blundered. I was too slow. Like I've been in most of the games today, I was too slow. Uh, no, I can't because someone someone has to get a point. They have to play unless they haven't played, but I'm pretty sure they have. Um, so somebody has to get a point. If, if Giga draws or wins, they get to ten. I can only get to nine and a half. If Genghis draws, Giga gets to ten. If Genghis wins, he gets to ten. So I can't. It's not a big deal, uh, but I would like to win and finish this out in reasonably good style. And the thing that really sucks though is that I have the best tiebreak. That's why it was so ridiculous to to throw that because I have the best tiebreak. So even if I had drawn, I would have I would have had a good chance to win still. But did I put those winnings into GME? Very funny. Don't worry. When it goes to 150, that's when I'll short it. Uh, you heard that here first. Um, okay, I will play E4 here. Let's play Knight 3 no, I won't lose money shorting it in the long run. If if I do it th if I do it through a spread, if if I short it directly, yes, there's a very good chance I could get my shirt ripped off. But I won't do that. Uh, Bishop c4 is a move. D4 is a move. Actually, why did I play this? Don't know why I played. Wait, why did I play this? Okay, let's. What am I doing? Okay, let's go. Um, is it d4? I think it's d4 knight a3 if I remember correctly. Let's go knight a three, knight b five. It's not that this is a bad opening. I just, I, I for some reason, I, I didn't, I didn't really want to play a gambit in this game. You can only naked short. No, but I mean, uh, I'm not. No, I meant short. I'll do it through puts. I'll go short through, through, through puts. Of course, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm playing this game very badly. This actually is not correct at all. But I might get away with it because, actually, now that I look at, it, I wonder why this isn't good. Who is this? Belija? I don't know who this is. Velmer Ivich. Okay, I don't know who this is. Anyway, um, this maybe I'm playing this like a Danish gambit or something. It's like a Danish gambit in honor of Daniel Legrano, except this is Sicilian. Okay, makes a check. I go here. The thing that's weird about this is that I'm not actually sure this is great for Black because I'm getting a lot of fast development. Like Knight C2 is coming also. With correct play, I'm losing. But this is actually going to be a fun game regardless. I think it will be at least. Hopefully it is. Okay, goes bishop f5. I think that's a bad move. I don't know. I feel like knight b5. 
Or knight g5 first. Wait, let's see. Knight g5, e6, knight b5. This looks like fun, though. Oh, ah, knight b5, he just castles. Yeah, so he just wants to castle. If I go rook c1, e6, knight b5, rook d8. I actually do wonder about rook c1 here. I'm going to play it. It makes sense. Because I don't think he's really going to have time to develop on the king side due to this, this big weakness on g7. If I get knight b5, knight a7, I mean, this gets very wild in a hurry. Okay, castles anyway, allowing knight e5. Let's go here. Oh, did I just wonder rook d2? Wait, no, then I have queen f3. Maybe I should have just gone king g1. Anyway, whatever. It's chess. Never know what's going to happen in a game of chess. Okay, rook d2, queen f3. Wild. Maybe it's queen d... This is going to be a very wild game. Uh, I draw moves for the for the audience. I normally wouldn't do that. Wow. Wowzers. Wowzers. Um, this looks crazy. I can go G4 here, then bishop E4, then F3. This is crazy. I mean, somehow I don't actually think this is good for black, but I don't know how to punish it. It looks wrong. I can also take, I can go knight B5. Knight B5, knight A7 is a pretty cheesy idea, but I think it's playable. Knight B5, rook D2, knight A7. I'm going to do it. I don't know if it's good. So if he goes king b8, then I take with the rook. I mean, this is really wild. I'm threatening to just eat the juicer because of the pin. He doesn't actually have any other squares for the king. If I if I eat the juicer, I win. He's also got no time as well. Do I have bishop a3 maybe as well? I mean, rook c6 is the obvious move. I mean, let's just let's just eat it. Because he can't take, so he gets he gets forked. There's a triplet. If I get bishop, I'm actually just maybe winning here because I have bishop c3. There's got to be a way to win. Wait a second. Rook b6? Wait a second. There must be a way to win. Knight d7, rook d7, queen e5. I mean, I, I, I really want to miniature him here. I, I really want to get a hero, hero victory. Queen f3 is a move. Queen e3 is a move. Wait. Okay, let's think. I've got all the time in the world here to solve this. If bishop c3, rook d e2, there's nothing. Knight d7, knight d7, 7, rook d7, queen e5, bishop d6. This is crazy. Let's think. Um, to check, king there. Bishop c3, rook b2, takes no good. Knight d7, no good. I think this works. I'm going to go for it. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, I think this is actually... Well, yeah, King A gets mated. So he has to take. It's forced. Takes with a rook. Oh, wait. No, there is no checkmate. Wait, okay. Let's go check. Go check and take, maybe. Bishop c5. I need to develop. Okay, I've got time again. Maybe just queen f3. Threaten mate. So I can just take. Okay, goes there. Let's go here, maybe. Let's go here. Wait, that's this is gratis. This is a free juicer. Because I cover mate. Okay, and now I'm winning. Let's go here. We got the win. Crazy game, crazy game. Again, I was too slow there at the critical moments, though. 
still got the win. I don't know what was going on. It's a win anyway. Um, yeah, I guess I tie for second because they, they drew quickly, so it's fine. Um, not, not great, but it's still fine. One on time too slow. Yeah, but someone who was a little bit, little bit, little bit faster, they would have been able to unwind that. Um, I don't have a second cam, as I explained earlier, because if I have a second cam, it's either going to show my kitchen, which I don't want to do, or it's going to, it's going to show outside. I think there's some possibility people could kind of figure out where I'm at. So I, I can't take that risk. Thank you to Julian JJZ for the two months. Thank you to Lodovico for the two months as well. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. I don't know what was going on in that game. Let's, let's take an, let's do some analysis on that game. Okay, what's the value? Maybe queen b4 is wrong. Actually, now that the term is over, I'll, 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 make sure, I'll, I'll add the eval bar one second. Let's see. What, what is going on here? Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Thank you to 13 dub 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 for the prime. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is good. So queen b4. King f1. Wow, this is the best move. Or is it? It's the best move. Okay, so I go here. Okay, so rook t8 is just winning. Okay, so I guess if he goes rook d8, I just, I'm just i just losing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, rook d8 and I just resign, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, rook d8, I just resign. Anyway, yeah, he plays castles. Oh, wow. Look at how fast that changes. Wow. Oh, wait, knight b5 is a blunder? Knight c2 is apparently good for... Wow, knight c2 is so dank. So dank. Queen d2, trade, and then what? It's knight f7? Wow, very dank, very dank. Anyway, um, I play knight b5, which is not a very good... No, knight f7 loses because then there's bishop d3 collecting the queen. That's the problem with knight f7. I lose my queen. That's that's the problem. And the bar goes burr. Um, so I go here. Goes here. And now rook d2. Oh, wait. This is all correct. This is all correct. Wow. Let's see. Let, let, let me let it get some depth here to figure it out. Okay. So it looks like king b is the only move that doesn't lose. So I take... And now he plays rook d2, only move. And now I go check. And apparently I'm losing or not losing or what's going on. Let's see what the bar says. Apparently the bar doesn't agree with queen f3. Um, finish in second place. Anyway, bar really does not agree here. It says knight d5 is good for black. And knight d5 is actually what I was worried about, but I was just going to take. And apparently this is losing. Why? Oh. Oy, 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 oy. Oy, oy, oy. Um, crazy. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So basically with the computer, this is why computers are so insane at chess, is after here takes, he just basically gambits two pawns so that he can open up a file for the rook. That's pretty insane, actually. Wow. That's pretty insane. So, because like here, it looks like this rook is not in play, but black can basically, black can basically just force me to eat this, because otherwise I, I lose. If I take, there's a checkmate, right? Queen b, no, wait. So queen b1, king e2, check. And if here, then check. And then if here, there's a potential ice skater, because the king is stuck. So I end up having to give up the rook, or not the rook, but I end up having to take the juicer. And then this, he gives up two pawns. But then his bishop, his queen, and his rook become dominating forces here. Like, it's the one passive piece is the rook on h8. So he does this now after queen c3. Yeah, now it's already gone, it looks like. Yeah, it's already gone here. Alternative to queen f3? <laughs> king g1, okay. I mean, king g1 is the alt. I mean, king, I mean, whatever. This is computers. I mean, this is ridiculous. Just king g1. That's stupid. Um. So, yeah, that's just stupid. That's just stupid um that's just really really stupid i i have nothing more to say other than it's a very stupid move all right okay you guys i'm gonna take a break and then when i come back we're gonna do a tata recap um of what everything that happened today in in tata so i'll be right back